the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass concelebrated by St. Pio and your Holy Apostolate of Reparation. America, it is said, is suffering from intolerance. It is not. It is suffering from tolerance. Tolerance of right and wrong, truth and error, virtue and evil, Christ and chaos. Our country is not nearly so overrun with the bigoted as it is overrun with the broad-minded. Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen This incredible wedding theology lesson has great purpose because it includes your purpose. Guess where St. Pio can be found, and then guess where you are and why. Just guess. In the book A Padre Pio Profile by John A. Shug, Order of Friars Minor Capuchin, printed in 1987, Mary Ingoldsby, who translated the saint's letters from Italian into English, gives the following testimony. I have caught unto those words a mission of co-redemption. It is as if, according to St. Paul, we fill up the sufferings of Christ. Colossians chapter 1, verse 24. We fill up something in our poor little way. We can make up what Christ has not yet suffered. In a huge way, Padre Pio seems to be allowing Christ to suffer again in this century, she said. She went on to say, in Rome, I had been working in a new section of the Vatican, which had been set up after the council. To my mind, the people there were very superficial. They were talking. They were traveling all over the world and going in a lot for sociology, psychology, anthropology, zoology, and all the rest of it. And the world was getting worse. It seems to me that the prayer life, the life of suffering, like take up your cross and follow me, was outside of their work. Then Padre Pio put me down here in San Giovanni Rotondo, she said. I found that Padre Pio has all the answers to that. To my mind, he brings Christianity to our present consumer society, to city life particularly. Many others are not getting down to the real core of Christianity, to the harsh part of Christianity. Take up your cross. Padre Pio brings you back to that. I think that is why he had the wounds of Christ. Padre Pio brings you back to this basic Christianity. He has a message for our world. He points to the passion of Christ. How absolutely vital it is for each one of us to have and to maintain the proper perspective. The day before the lesson, the devil is allowed to present you with some demonic oppression, and so once again you weather the storm. Great good must be coming for him to be this angry. Before retiring for the night, you are told that your suffering is being made in mystical union with the suffering of St. Pio during his lifetime, overnight and in the morning. Our Lord has you make more reparation, and then after you are allowed to arise, you make your morning offering not before either devotions to his holy face in your home, but for the first time, make it at the pillar. This seems both logical and natural, since you have spent so much time there with Jesus. All is very deeply meaningful as presented. More holy ground. While working for the Lord before the noon holy mass, you find yourself once again on holy ground, even though you are not in the church, because you are in the constant presence of God. While working, you are once again told that the reparation you are making, the purposeful suffering offered to Almighty God, unified with the suffering and the salvific mission of Jesus, is being made in union with St. Pio's suffering also. 
Jesus once again presents himself as being constantly with us, always before us, holding up his real presence in the Blessed Sacrament for all to adore. Oh, let us remember that he is always with us and that we can and should constantly adore him, Christ our Lord. Prior to Holy Mass, after arriving in church, you make an act of greeting and then your customary offering while adoring our Lord in his house. All are welcome. Holy Mass. Today you find yourself at a Holy Mass being mystically concelebrated by Saint Padre Pio. As the Holy Sacrifice is celebrated, you suddenly see before you that there on holy ground, inside the church formally consecrated personally by Almighty God to his work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, that the mission for this parish is linked with the mission of St. Pio in a supernatural way for the sake of all. It is foretold that during Holy Communion, you will receive the real presence of Jesus unified with Christ's suffering, with the suffering of his Most Holy Mother, and also with the redemptive suffering of St. Pio. The same will occur first during the consecration of the bread into Christ's sacred body and the wine into his precious blood. Present in the Holy Eucharist will be Christ's adorable flesh and blood, his divine soul, his sacred heart, and his divine mercy, unified with the will of Almighty God and the submission of Jesus, of his Most Holy Mother, and of Saint Pio to his will, and their combined redemptive suffering for our sake. The Homily during the celebrant's homily, Jesus is mystically present before all crucified on the cross, and Saint Pio is visible mystically crucified on the cross with our Redeemer. What a sight! You see how their consent, along with the consent of God's Most Holy Mother, were and are instrumental in the sanctification and eternal salvation of souls, and so is ours, freely and completely submitted to Almighty God with theirs. We must place our total trust in God while doing so. The demons would like us to think otherwise. They tell us both directly and through other people that our efforts make no difference and that people will never change. The demons constantly try to encourage us to give up, but they are the ones who fight on the losing side. All those who do as God says are assured of final victory over evil. Saint John Vianney reminds us that no prayer is ever lost, and the same can be said for our vital works of reparation offered to Almighty God through Jesus, and made perfect when unified with those of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mediatrix of all God's graces. The Prayer Intentions Every single person God creates has a vital holy apostolate of reparation. During the Prayer Intentions, all is offered to Almighty God through Jesus and Saint Pio crucified on the cross before all. We are to join them there. The Offertory The gifts are brought up to the altar, including all the works of reparation offered by the people, and are placed before the throne of Almighty God, there on Mount Calvary, the Mount of Mankind's Redemption, Liberation, Restoration, and Sanctification there where heaven meets earth before the mystically present and miraculous devotion to the holy face of Jesus, which is three Christocentric Marian devotions in one. According to Jesus, this devotion surpasses all others and includes the devotions to his holy face, to his sacred heart, 
and to his divine mercy. You are shown that Almighty God provides each one of us with the opportunities we need to master this surrender of the self-will as we strive to die to ourselves and to become a more perfect and more usable instrument and a channel of God's graces for the sake of all. The Consecration As the bread is consecrated into the sacred flesh of Jesus and the wine into his precious blood, Jesus' suffering is visibly present during the elevations in union with the suffering of his Most Holy Mother and the suffering of Saint Pio. Very soon, you will be unified with the real presence of Jesus, his mission, his surrender, and his suffering, unified with the mission, surrender, and suffering of God's Most Holy Mother and of Saint Pio. And you will wed your life, your mission, and your soul to Christ's in this manner. What a wedding! Truly, we are loved and valued by God, His Most Holy Mother, and the saints beyond measure. And we are never alone. The Lord's Prayer Jesus is mystically visible crucified on the cross before all, as is Saint Pio, superimposed over our Savior's completely offered, completely desecrated, and suffering sacred body. The Lord's Prayer is offered to Almighty God through Jesus in the same way, while unified with the salvific mission of Jesus and the submission of the will and the suffering of our Lord, of His Most Holy Mother, and of Saint Pio. You make a holy communion of adoration, reparation, and restoration, and receive the real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament on your tongue, and are unified with Him completely, while humbly kneeling, veiled in black, per our Lord's request. You are also unified with His salvific mission, and with the complete surrender of the will to Almighty God, the redemptive suffering, and the true charity of Jesus, of His Most Holy Mother, and of Saint Pio. Remain in holy silence. Every sacrifice which your soul makes, every good it does, is directed to God for the sanctification of all. Saint Pio. You remain after Holy Mass concludes to make an act of thanksgiving in imitation of Saint Pio during the sacred 15 minutes of such profound and deeply meaningful divine union with God. This time is very well spent, well sacrificed for the sake of the one who gave up everything for us, sparing no expense. Two, three, four, having become one, for the sake of all. You find yourself adoring our Lord at the foot of the cross, by the Blessed Mother's side, as Jesus is crucified upon it mystically before you, while unified with Saint Pio. Every time you look upon a crucifix, use that as an opportunity to adore our Lord. You ask Jesus why you are adoring him in this way in particular today and are told that what is represented before you is the mission of the members of the sacred priesthood of Jesus Christ, to be living crucifixes in imitation of him while offering their total surrender and their works of reparation to Almighty God in union with Jesus for the sake of all. The priesthood is the sublimest dignity that God can confer on a human being. Father John Anthony Hardin, S.J. We are obligated to remain at the foot of Christ's cross by the side of his Most Holy Mother and pray and sacrifice for priests through the work of our Holy Apostolate of Reparation. Eucharistic Adoration During Eucharistic Adoration which follows the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, the real presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament 
is presented to you as containing the redemptive suffering of Jesus, of his most holy mother, of Saint Pio, and also yours as he gazes from within the monstrance upon the intentions of all of humanity, which are always before him. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Saint John Bosco. To learn more about your vital holy apostolate of reparation and Almighty God's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, visit www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, and he still means it. <laughs>